Right guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we are going to be going through how to create one of the most powerful visualization manifestation tools of this century, and that is a vision board. So if you are sat here watching this video, it means that you are serious about chasing your dreams and turning those dreams into reality for the year of 2022. And however you got here, it means we are ready to manifest. And manifest meaning we're here to dream big, visualize our dream, work towards that dream, and then of course, achieve that dream. Sounds good, right? So what I want you to do is sit back, relax, enjoy this video, and then once you've enjoyed this video, once you can come back to it and we can create a vision board together once again. So vision boards, why are they important? Why does everyone keep going on about them? Why are they such a big trend right now? So if you think of the quote, a picture is worth a thousand words, imagine a board on your wall, which is covered in 10 pictures. That board is worth 10,000 words. And when you're seeing that on a daily basis, it's gonna mean the world to you. You're gonna to wanna to chase those dreams, you're going to want to see those dreams. You're going to want to be those dreams. So if you are there constantly reminding yourself on a daily basis, just by looking up uh, that your dreams are there, they are big, they are painted and set in stone, it will help rewire a part of your brain, which will tell you that you want to achieve it even more. So the question is, are you ready to get started? Because I certainly am. So first of all, you'll need to purchase yourself something to place your pictures on. Now, I'm the type of person who likes to stick and place it on walls so you can visually see it. I'm not the type of person who will sit on my laptop or phone all day. So I personally prefer having a canvas to be able to decorate and paint yourself so if you're one of these type of people who have came in this video to try and get and understand how to do this on a phone i'm sorry this is not the video for you if you want to stick around i might be able to change your mind and show you how fun and creative this style of creating a vision board can be so this is an a2 stretched canvas it's fairly uh, fragile and flimsy but it's quite heavy to hold up now this was purchased from a store in the UK called Hobbycraft at £14 and it comes in a pack of three. So if you want to have one that's a little bit smaller, you are more than welcome to. I just like to have my vision boards quite large. Personally, the larger the vision board, technically the more you can fit in, but in this circumstance, it's not always quantity over quality. Instead, it's the other way around, quality over quantity but you can get yourself bigger images to stick around the vision board. Therefore, when you are looking at it, it's more catching on the eye for you. So you'll probably get a little bit more out of it. So personally, I like to go for a bigger blank canvas so you can stick on bigger pictures, which are more easy to catch your eye. So once you've got your canvas sorted, you need to get yourself some ideas of what you want to stick onto your vision board. Now I've started creating a list on my phone about a month ago about ideas what of things i want to achieve throughout the year of 2022 and i've consciously consistently been condensing these to make it again that quality of a quantity so have a think about what you want to achieve get them wrote down in the list personally i like to categorize mine which you'll see a little bit later on into different segments and again once you've got that you'll have a clear idea of what kind of pictures you want to find. Something I did last year and something I am doing this year, I have purchased myself a vision board clip art book. Now, this book has lots of different pictures in there going from Wonderlust, Walking More, Quality Time, Soulmates, and so forth. So it has a lot of different options of pictures which you can use to stick on your vision board. Again, this is giving you ideas and all you need to do is cut out the pictures you want and to be able to stick them down. Now I'll link this one down below because it is specific to 2021. I like to have in the middle of my vision board the year. So when I save these boards, I know which year that was. And of course, sometimes you want something a little bit more specific. So Google can be your best friend in this circumstance and you can find these pictures, you can send them to your phone and something which I'll show you a little bit later on is you can head over to certain stores like I'm gonna to head to Tesco and use their printer machine and print off these pictures ready to stick on the board as well. All we gotta do now guys is with the board, 
with the pictures we've got to select what we want to put out what we want to stick on what we want to print off and then uh, yeah get them all ready and lined up so let's let's do that now I guess I have finished cutting out what I need to out of this book. <clears throat> I'm not going to lie, the book is pretty dreadful uh, for what I wanted out of it. But I got a few different things, like a few quotes, a picture of a passport, a picture of a festival. I also got a few more ideas. And then we're going to head to Tesco to print off the photos. Right, we're back. It is the next day. I didn't realize that on New Year's Eve that uh, Tesco would actually be closed. So it is actually now the 2nd of January. How exciting is that? I have been to Tesco, you'll have seen the videos and I've printed out a multitude of different images. Now I've printed out two different sizes. The bigger ones are gonna tend to be the ones that are more important. And then the smaller photos are gonna to tend to be like headings or things that aren't as important. So obviously when I wake up, I look at my vision board, the bigger images are the ones that are gonna portray what I wanna get out of the year the most, okay? Now uh, I've got scissors. I have got this sticky tape thing from last year. Hopefully it still works, because this is what I used for my vision board last year. I've got the board itself. Uh, we're ready to try and make amends of this so you're going to watch me put stuff in order which i think looks pretty and then from there we're going to move on i feel like i was just on another planet So you'll have just seen a quick time lapse of me kind of finding different locations to pop all of the images from my vision boards. You'll have seen maybe the different sizes in pictures which I've chosen. Again, very important to what's more important. So your big rocks, your little rocks. And you'll have noticed I'll cut them out a little bit, position them around. So from that time lapse, you might find that when I show you the final reveal, that it changes a little bit but again uh, the idea was that to cut it out make it look neat make it, make it look pretty and make sure it stands out so we are about this close to finishing the vision board i've put everything together cut everything out a little bit neater and i've stuck it all down now the problem with doing all that i've eliminated one or two things i've made things a little bit smaller and that has gave me quite a decent amount of room so with the gaps I have, I have two quite big gaps. I'm not going to ruin the video by showing you the vision board just yet. But with the two gaps, I've made some notes in my phone about how much room I have and what I want to see in it. So I have enough room for a small quote in one gap. The other one, I have a big gap for something to do with work. So I'm going to think of what I want to put in the gaps and then tomorrow I'll go back to Tesco get those pictures printed off and then the vision board for this year will be finished and all that will be left to do is stick down and hang it on the wall so stay tuned for that i guess guys
So there you have it guys, the vision board is all complete. I will analyze and go through my decisions for you. Let's start with personal growth. So first, saving money. Everyone wants to save money. The more you see it, the more you save. So let's start this year of saving money and then eventually over the years we can start to buy other stuff, we'll say. Uh, YouTube, keep vlogging. Again, this is for me. This is so I can check out my videos when I get older. If I get more subscribers along the way, perfect. I'm not setting myself a goal this year. Instagram, business page is still nearly on 1900. Keep keep vlog firing that up. Uh, it's amazing. I enjoy it. Finally, learning Spanish. That will start definitely from tomorrow on my drive to work. Excited about this. Loving yourself. Uh, that is personal growth learning to love yourself. I'm getting better, but still a little bit to go. Personal training, so my business, keep pushing on that. BFD, clothing, nothing to sell majorly, but again, keep pushing the product. Mercedes, I've gone off the range of idea. A few reasons, uh, I think that's much more pretty and classy and a lot more affordable. So fingers crossed when I get that this year. Start my online coaching business. Again, another big element in my life. Online coaching is amazing for people who are struggling and I can help so many people with that. 40K, putting it straight, that's the amount of money I want to earn. You know, you go have a, a goal of an income in your life, because you know you're going to be doing it for a while, so that's my income. Adventure, I'm not amazingly fussy with where I go. You can see I have a passport. There's a beach that is Nissy Beach to be precise. It was just a conversation that came up the other day about INAP, so yeah. Uh, that is Singapore, again it was a bigger conversation coming up this year, you'll notice Iceland's not on there right now, but you know, you never know what happens, and then Creamfield, which I will be going to in uh, next year as well. Finishing with health, CrossFit Open, which uh, from making this video is 52 days away, nerve wracking but exciting at the same time. Spartan Race, something I was thinking about the other week, it's a nice little challenge that I want to do, and get involved with. I do also have a wolf run booked, but um, that's not as challenging to be honest. So, uh, Spartan race would be a great challenge. Olympic lifting, I don't want to be in the Olympics, don't worry, but uh, I do want to get a better snatch, a better clean. But the main thought is if, if this beautiful, beautiful position of a snatch. High rocks, which is at the end of January, so not long after making this video. Uh, I'm going on my first run for a long time tomorrow, so we'll see how much distance I can smack up and then hard work pays off and athlete. I've realized recently uh, I like to be labeled as an athlete, it makes me feel strong, it makes me feel important, it makes me feel a lot better about my training so yeah. So again I've kept it as simple as possible, I've kept it with my bigger goals being the bigger pictures and everything else being you know like little rocks which I want to achieve around the year now all of these are definitely achievable it just depends if I can get this hung up and then I put my backside into gear so um, hopefully if you have me on social media Aaron Brain Fitness I will pop that on the wall and then plug that on my Instagram when it's done so thanks for watching guys don't forget if you're enjoying this kind of stuff uh, subscribe down below got a little bit of a series coming out next so I'm going to start recording that from this week so uh, if you are enjoying this content, like, subscribe, follow, leader, 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 peace.